Hey guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. So, iOS 26 is finally here. At first, I was super excited to try it out. But honestly, after a few days, my iPhone started feeling slower and the battery was draining way too fast. If you're having the same problem and want to go back to the stable iOS 18, I've got you covered. Today, I'll show you how to delete iOS 26 and downgrade to iOS 18 without losing your data. Let's dive in. Method 1. Downgrade to iOS 18 with Reiboot. Reiboot is one of the most trusted iOS tools with over 10 years of experience in system repair. It's reliable, beginner-friendly, and best of all, it keeps all your data safe. Here's how it works. First, download and install Reiboot on your computer. Open it and connect your iPhone with a cable. Before downgrading, create a full backup. Reiboot saves everything, photos, contacts, apps, securely on your computer. When that's done, go back to the home page and select iOS upgrade or downgrade. Reiboot will detect that iOS 18.5 is available. Click downgrade now and the process will begin. A few minutes later, your iPhone will be back on iOS 18. Once you downgrade to iOS 18, proceed to the data recovery page and choose restore from computer. Then return to Reiboot, select restore data, choose the backup you just created, click restore and wait for a moment. Your phone will have all the backup data restored and it will also be downgraded to iOS 18. It works really well. Method 2. Downgrade to iOS 18 with iTunes. You can use iTunes or Finder to downgrade, but honestly, it's much harder. Before deleting iOS 26, you can back up your device on iTunes first. Go to the IPSW.me website and download the iOS file for your iPhone model. Once it's done, open iTunes or Finder, hold the Shift key, and click Restore iPhone. Select the IPS double, you file you just downloaded, confirm, and your iPhone will downgrade to that version. After the downgrade, your phone will be back to factory settings. If you've backed up with iCloud, just sign in with your Apple ID and restore everything. So unless you really know what you're doing, I don't recommend this way. So, those are the two methods. iTunes is complicated and risky, but Reiboot is easy, safe and beginner-friendly. And here's the bonus, if you ever want to upgrade back to iOS 26, Reiboot can do that in one click. It also lets you back up and restore your data whenever you want. I'll leave the download link in the description. Let me know in the comments if you downgraded and don't forget to like and subscribe for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.